Over the next few days and weeks, I'm going to be testing out this. Let me get it. This is the Cap 20 pounds adjustable weight vest. And this is a, a high top weight vest. Looked around a few different ones. These things can get pretty pricey. Uh, I wanted something that's a little bit kind of um, all purpose. Something that isn't too big, too bulky. Uh, a lot of the ones that are bigger, because I'm only a small guy, a lot of the bigger ones, they tend to hang down too low. The reason I got one of these is I want to up the level of my workouts. I want to move into some of this scenario kind of training uh, that I've been working on, and I need to get back a weights vest. I did have a good weights vest, but the issue I used to have with the old one is it used to be the little iron filing pockets that used to go inside the neoprene. And those things are just a nightmare. You take them off, they fall out. The iron filings can come loose. Um, you end up shuffling them around, trying to balance it out. And although it was quite, you know, reasonably comfortable to wear, I always had an issue with them in that they were just messy. And like I say, you, you take them off and then you spend five minutes picking up all the bits from them. So I wanted something that's a bit more durable, a bit more stable, reasonably priced. I don't want to pay for one of these ones that, you know, that costing super expensive with the steel plates here because I don't want to also look like I'm pretending to be some kind of special forces guy. I just want this to be a nice weight vest that's easy to use, easy to maneuver, easy to get on and off and something that I can you know throw in the car without too much effort. All right, into the box. So my only concern with this is that, that it would be too light but we'll find out. Oh, it actually totally fills the box. It's a surprise. Oh, I'm going a minute. All right, so that's why it fills the box. It comes separate. First off, you get the bag, the actual vest itself. And with that, you get a, a bag load of these things. So this has been my main concern is that these things would start to get loose because this is the old iron filing approach. I think this is going to depend on this stitching, which looks okay. First off, test. Nothing's coming loose. And how they're stored in the bag. Because the previous issues I've had is with the storing is like I say, they they it's a, almost like a, a hole in the neoprene. You put it in, but there's always a hole there. And after you've worn it and you've sweated and you've washed it, that hole tends to open and it creates problems. All right, so that's good. Let me have a look inside. The box and make sure we've got no filings. Pretty good. All right, so they're all together. All right, so let me uh, assemble and we'll see how we look. But before I do that, I obviously need to look at the vest, vest itself. So we've got the same kind of issue that I might have had with the old ones in that they're all individual pouches. But the difference here is that they look like they, uh, they attach differently. Let me get to the bottom of this one. Okay, yeah, so they all slide in. And then they loop down. And like I said, I didn't want one that was too, too uh, low down on my hips. So that's going to be ultimately be the height. That's your... Uh, wrap around from in and out it's good solid vest the actual vest itself is padded so there's a bit of thickness to it um, whether that will affect the mobility i'm not sure and everything looks all right looks well built i think that must be a reflective material and i'm not sure what these are for we'll find out what better way to do this than a time lapse there's the first issue so when you're doing this do the low ones first because uh, otherwise you're going to have to take them out I make the mistakes so other people don't have to 
So the middle pieces seem to be slightly looser than the than the outside pieces. I'm not sure whether that's deliberate or just a, a fault with the stitching. But these these pieces are definitely tougher to get in than those two pieces. So they are a tad loose. All right, and then the next lot. Could be that the center pieces are there a little bit looser, maybe to allow the vest to bend and breathe. Don't know. Could be a mistake or genius. All right, so they're all in. There's nothing else I need to do. That just gets wrapped over. Now it's on to the other side. All right, that's it. Assembled. Feels pretty good. Let me put it on. I think this must go around to connect. This one goes to there to connect. And you come back around, back around. All right. Let's see if I can do this loosely. Mic off. That didn't work. Oh. Mic back on. Oh, I missed vital feature so you gotta get this first this goes through there like that then <laughs> this one is already in and that bends to there all right so now the only thing left to do is obviously get to the gym, start using this, start moving around with it. Like all vests, this one, some of the vests I've had in the past, they obviously they make you feel heavy. But then depending on how tight you have these things and where the weight is, this is all quite a lot of force on the chest. So obviously it's gonna affect your breathing. The shoulder straps feel quite good. It's quite solid in terms of rotation. But the only thing to do is to get to the gym and test this through different scenarios, different movements, see what's possible, what's not possible. And if this has very limited use or whether it can be, you know, a versatile piece of kit, let's find out. So I've been using this vest on and off for the last couple of months. I've used it in quite a few workouts. Um, and like any piece of kit, there are always pros and cons when you make one choice over another. Uh, overall, I'm happy with the purchase. I think it was a good investment in a simple piece of gear that just adds a little extra dimension. I tried to use the vest in different kind of workouts here. You see I'm using it in a kind of mixed workout where I'm pairing up pulling movements with mobility. Uh, let's go over some of the, the pros. Uh, it's small. It's quite a small, it's a half vest. Obviously, I'm, uh, I'm on the smaller side. Um, but it sits quite high on the chest, it's easy to get on and off once you figure out how you're best setting the vest up. I think it looks quite good, looks quite cool. Um, the weights are well balanced, it's evenly distributed on either side. Uh, there was no leakage during any stage of these workouts, and I think you know, it gave it a bit of a beating, it's been dropped and thrown around. And, and obviously because you can take out the, the pads, it's also washable. So let's go over some of the, the cons. Um, I'd say because of the way it's built and it's a high vest, it's slightly more bulky. 
whereas some of the other vests that obviously that weight is evenly distributed down towards the right from the chest down towards the hips but I don't really like those vests although they add a bit more stability um, I think you just you just look a bit weird wearing them um, this vest because I'm on the smaller side it's it's quite wide and I noticed after a couple of sessions that it was scratching my biceps just where my arms run to the side of the vest because it's going kind to of protrude slightly um, when I was running with this vest because again it's a high vest and it straps around basically around the, the just underneath the chest but again I'm smaller but if, uh, if you were taller then it would be sitting a little bit higher it tends to bounce a little bit when you run um, one of my main gripes would be that it's probably just not heavy enough for me it's a 20 pounds about nine kilos um, but there are ways around that it just it takes the load off the hands when it comes to holding things definitely useful and I, overall I'm pretty impressed with it so I would recommend this vest especially at this price range <laughs>